You guys sound fantastic, man. Much better than rehearsal. Prayer position. No.
unbelievable. I love it. I love it. I love it. Take a bow, second grade. One, two, three. Good job. Try it again together. Ready? One, two, three. You know, I was wondering, I, I want you to do the rap again. Because there's some people in the back that didn't hear the rap. Would you like to hear that rap one more time? Cool. Here we go. One, two, three. On the first note. Say Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. All right, let's get off stage. Good job, my darlings. Here we go. I love that rap. That was cool. On the first Noel, the angel did say to Mr. Islas on the way. Okay, here we go. We have Mr. Aiden and Mr. Pedro to join us a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for one of our seniors, Mr. Aiden. When I was little, Christmas was about getting your favorite gifts and decorating a Christmas tree with lights and ornaments. When I grew older, I never would have thought of my perspective changing. Christmas was about cherishing time with their family and looking back to Christ's birth and and looking back to Christ's birth and how he was put into this earth to save each and every one of us. I would like to thank St. Bernard for making this feel like my second home, the class of 2020 for guiding me throughout my journey, and most especially my family for giving me all these great opportunities in life. I wouldn't be who I am without you all, so thank you and wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let's have Mr. Kyle and Patricia. Let's give it up for both of our seniors. What Christmas means, okay. What Christmas means to me is spending time with family, getting your loved ones gifts, and making new memories and talking about cherished ones. I treasure my time that I have spent here at St. Bernard. It is more than a school to me. It is like a second family to me. I would like to thank everyone, especially the teachers, Ms. Montiel, my parents, and the class of 2020. This is my last Christmas concert with St. Bernard, and I would like to say thank you to everyone, and I wish everyone a Merry Christmas. What Christmas means to me is family, spending time opening presents with everyone and eating a feast my mom prepares for us each year. I want to thank St. Bernard for being my second home, for my classmates always being there for me. I especially want to thank my mom and dad for sending me here. To everyone and to my classmates, I wish you all a Merry Christmas.
Thank you for being patient. I appreciate that. Our third grade class is representing the beautiful country of Mexico. Where they are known for their lights and the celebration. They make what's called farolitos. And those are small little lamps. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us. Join me in welcoming our third grade class as they sing farolitos and burrito sabanero.
What Christmas meant to me as a younger kid was just being around family and friends and eating food and opening presents with my brother. But now that I'm older, I see what Christmas really means. It's not just opening presents, but it's spending time with the ones you love and being thankful for the family we have. I want to thank, I want to thank my grandma and grandpa for all the love and support they give me and everything they do for, for me and my brother. Oh, and, oh yeah, also my mom and dad who helped me make it through school by not like, yelling at me when I do my homework and for working so hard that you can go to this great Catholic school. Lastly, thank you, class of 2020, for being my school family. Christmas means so many things to me. It has, it is a time that I get to spend time with my family. They mean everything to me. I also think that it is an important time to remember to love and enjoy God's gifts. That's it. Merry Christmas. It is not easy to come up to this microphone and extend or convey a Christmas greeting to you. Our seniors know that, and they wanted to do that. So let's, let's give our class, our senior class, a big hand right now. Thank you. They've done a wonderful job with their readings today. When King Herod knew that the baby Christ was born, he sent soldiers into villages. And if you were a baby boy, two years of age or below, unfortunately, something ugly happened. The Holy Family went in hiding, and they went to Egypt when they left Bethlehem. Today, our seventh grade class represents the country of Egypt. Soleil? Talk to us. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2021 will try to answer the question, what child is this, as we pay tribute to the Holy Family and the Magi of Christmas. Our first reader. Where's our first reader? Yeah, 
able to find him? The child is everywhere. But the question is, is the child still in you? time with my family and friends, giving gifts to people, and seeing the look on their faces when they open them. I would give, like to give a big thanks to my mom and dad for sending me to a great school. I would also like to give a big thanks to my friends if, of the class of 2020 that support me and my choices, and all of you for, to have, for all of you for putting up with me for these past years. Enjoy the concert, and Merry Christmas. This one? All right, cool. Hi. Good evening. Um, I'm Diego from 2020. Okay. Uh, what Christmas means to me is spending time with family and eating whatever they cooked. As I grew older, I realized that Christmas is the time to celebrate Jesus' birth. So I want to say thank you to St. Bernard for letting me be here at the school for 10 years and not kicking me out. I want to say thank you for my mom for sticking by my side throughout the years. I want to say thank you to the teachers for teaching me even when I wasn't paying attention. So thanks for everything. Merry Christmas and God bless. In the country of Ukraine, they celebrate Christmas on January 7th. They follow the old Julian calendar. Today, our students will honor the country of Ukraine by cel celebrating, or rather singing, two songs. One will commemorate Jesus' mother, and the other We'll ring in the year with our carols. We need everyone tight and loud. You look beautiful as always. Where is, why don't you get in the middle for me? In the middle for me. Second line. 
Mary, did you know that your We have Mr. Belen and Jose to join us, eighth graders. Miss, B Miss Belen and Mr. Jose, come join us, please. What Christmas means to me is coming together with my family. Christmas for, for me never meant the gifts I received. What kind of? Christmas to me is giving others happiness and to spend the time I have with people who care about me. Thank you to my mom and dad for always supporting me and giving me their undivided attention, even though they both work super hard for me. I would also like to thank Saint, I would also like to say thank you to St. Bernard for the past years of my life. This school made me feel at home and my classmates will always be my second family. 
They're very special to me. God bless you all. Merry Christmas and Feliz Navidad. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Valeria, and I am part of the class of 2020. What Christmas means to me, it's a time to be with the people that you love. It's a time for past mistakes to be forgotten and new memories to be made. To me, Christmas is the moments of laughter with my mother, the moments of holding my sister when she was scared and wanted, and wanted me to hold her. It's also the father-daughter father dates that I would have and the dates when my grandmother would take care of me when I was sick. It's also the time when me and my cousin would, hold, would be there for each other, giving each other advice on getting through and how to be in this crazy world. I'm so crying, okay. To me, Christmas is laughing with my friends and then one minute, laughing with my friends one minute, then fighting like family the next. That's why I love my class. I have been here for four years and they were the best years of my life. I want to thank my Thea for recommending it. Thank you and Merry Christmas. Ladies, I love the blue satin sashes. And boys, I love the shorts with the uh, socks and the shoes. And we're looking like Austria up in, the, up in the Alps. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our sixth grade class. As we present two songs, as we wind our show down, we'll be singing Oh Holy Night and My Favorite Things from Sound of Music. This is not easy. I'd like you to move up a little bit, please. Just a little bit for, there you go. And then first row, move up, please. Thank you. There you go. And don't be shy. sixth grade. Thank you so much.
girls in white dresses with silver white winters. When I'm feeling sad, everyone, I simply remember my and then I don't feel so Raindrops on roses and Thank you so much, sixth grade. Let's give them a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Sixth grade, stay right there. Look at your crowd and take a bow. One, two, three. Good job, my loves. I'm proud of you. Good job. There you go. Christmas is much more than lights, stars, ornaments, and gifts. It's a special time for happiness, family, and love. My idea of Christmas is very simple, loving and giving to others. It doesn't matter what we eat or what presents we get, because Christmas is meant to be spent with our loved ones. Christmas is a season not only of rejoicing, but of reflection. It gives us a chance to appreciate life, which we usually take for granted. Thank you, Grandpa, for teaching me that, along with so many other great lessons. Remember to always value the meaning of Christmas, the message of love, peace, and happiness. I want to thank my parents for working hard every day to send me to a great school like St. Bernard. To our St. Bernard families, may the spirit of Christmas bring peace, love, and happiness among you this holiday. To my class of 2020, I've been so lucky to have all of you in my life. Without your friendship and support, it wouldn't have been the same. Wishing everyone a Merry Christmas on all the best for a new year. What Christmas means to me is spending time with my family and close friends. We enjoy, we enjoy taking pictures and eating lots of food. We even wear Christmas pajamas while opening presents. I like to thank my parents for sending me to a great school where I got the best education, where I got the best education and found some of my best friends. Merry Christmas and enjoy the concert. The class of 2020 has prepared a very, very, very wonderful Christmas song that John Lennon and Yoko Ono wrote in 1971. Make it jolly good now, jolly good. Yes, put your hat on now, everyone. Here we go. Thank you, 2020. Give it up for our eighth graders.
Let's have Jade and Yasmin, our last two speakers. Hi, I'm Jade Vi, and I'm the class of 2020. Christmas to me is a day where we hang out with our crazy, loving family, sharing the presence of not only Jesus' birth, but each other. Eating tamales, opening presents, and having a fun time spending it, spending it with each other is something I'm blessed with. Thank you to my mom and my dad for supporting me all these years and helping me navigate myself to success. I want to give a big thanks to all my friends, especially Yasmin, Alyssa, Elsie, Aiden, Victor, and Jose, for making these, nine year, nine, making these past years at St. Bernard much more special than it already has been. All the laughs and memories we have made with each other will be cherished forever. I want to say thank you to my eighth grade class, Ms. Correa and Ms. Montiel. Without you all, I wouldn't have made it this far. Thank you for such an adventure. Merry Christmas to you all. Are you glad you came? And yet trying to sneak out early. I saw some, I'm just kidding. I understand we're all busy. We have one more class tonight, but before we do that, I would like anyone, thank you, it's my new hair. Um, anyone in the military, past or present or in the future, please stand. Any branch, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, St. Bernard wishes you a very, very Merry Christmas, and we are so grateful for the service that you've given to our country. <laughs> to all of you, to all of our service members at home and abroad, a very Merry Christmas to you all, and we are forever grateful for the freedom that you allow us to cherish every single day of our lives. Regardless of political affiliation, we are one country, we are united, we are the United States of America, and this fourth grade class is your United States. So let's give it up. They are representing our country, your country, my mother's country, your mother's country.
In 1961, a U-2 spy plane flew over the island of Cuba and reported back to the Kennedy administration that missiles were found in Cuba. In 1962, we contacted Russia and we demanded to have those missiles removed. And in October of 1962, this particular song came out and it was released during that time entitled, Do You Hear What I Hear? And it was flooded all over the radio. American citizens were paranoid. It didn't matter what political affiliation. We were looking at a potential World War III and it didn't happen. And that time, people held on to each other and we held on to hope. We are going to present to you our very last song for the evening entitled, Do You Hear What I Hear? Let's give it up for our little Americans. Let's give it up for every single student in this church, in this school. You're awesome. You are awesome. I'm proud of all of you, my angels. Good job.